Well, we're finally out of Florida. Yeah. Made it to South Carolina. Uh -huh. That's been raining for the last couple of days. Yeah. So I haven't really been able to show you around. It's like a standing water mud hole right outside of our door. Kind of, yeah. You have to step off to the side because if you step off straight down, you'll just be in water. True. But it's not a, it's not a bad place. We're in uh, Yemisee, which is, uh, it's a thousand trails. It's the mm -hmm. Oaks at South Point, I think it's called. Yeah. No, it's not a bad little place, but I thought that we were like all done with gators. Yeah, I but there's a little pond out here that you can walk around which we're getting, we're getting ready to walk around right now and so I got my my good camera so we can take some pictures see if yeah. we can snap some gators and there's another thing that I've started a little venture yeah which we haven't shared on the channel yet but we'll share it right <laughs> now because it's relevant at the moment yes and that is and you probably saw it when we did our collaboration video you probably saw the cornhole boards mm -hmm. a couple of people make comments yeah so I'm because I'm, I'm I cleaned and you Play yeah <laughs> I have been uh, practicing a lot and started to enter in some tournaments yeah so I went to my first tournament ever uh -huh. Thursday Thursday a couple days ago and uh, I did well <laughs> it was a blind draw so you don't really know who your partner is gonna True. be and I ended up drawing statistically the worst player in the yeah. thing so we won uh, two games and lost two games and got eliminated and finished fourth, fourth overall which yeah. is not bad for, but I can't win on both sides of the boards. Yeah. So I can only. But you, you get money at first, second, and third, so you missed it by. Barely yes. missed the money. Yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, we're going to have some fun while we're here in South Carolina. There's lots of stuff to do. We're going to head up to Charleston. We might head down to Savannah one day. Yes, we're going to we do are. some stuff. So we're like halfway between both of those. So we yeah. have great people to visit while we're here. Yeah. So we well, get our fixed. Let me show you our site real fast. Yeah, well, there's the mud hole. Did you escape without getting all muddy? Yeah. You have to do a little sidestep, jump onto the step <laughs> yeah. from the ground over there, but it's all doable. Yeah, it's pretty tight in here. We're pretty tight next to our neighbors um, on both sides. Really muddy everywhere. I'll walk you around this way and uh, walk you through. Just like I said, coming off those steps down here. It was a lot worse. It, it stopped raining earlier today, so it's been drying up. Um, this little like really old. I don't even know if I'd trust sitting on that thing. <laughs> it would probably collapse on you. But we're real tight. Um, not a lot of space for me to practice no. cornhole. No, you have to go across. But I'll tell you what though, if you want a neighbor, all you have to do is set up your cornhole boards right next door in Thank the site know. next door. And as soon as you set them up, neighbors will show up. Yes, it's happened to me twice, twice. now. <laughs> And the second day, I was like, now nah, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, because somebody's going to come. And I was like, all right, it's later in the day. Nobody's I go ahead and set them up. Nobody's coming. Ten minutes. Ten. Yeah. And they were they were there. Yes. So, anyway, I've been setting up across the uh, across the way here. There's a, there's a vacant spot right there. It's like a tent, tent site. Spot. And so I don't think there's going to be any tenters no. coming. So that's where I've been practicing my cornhole. So, um, anyway, let's go on the uh, nature trail and see if we can find some gators. Yes, please. A gator right there and then there's a couple out there I can't zoom in when I'm in this mode where it shows back and forth but he's right there now let me switch the modes and then I'll zoom in so you can see him I can't believe it's already been over two years since we yeah. had our RV mattress by Brooklyn bedding and our sleep has been great phenomenal it's been crazy life-changing sleep impacts your posture your mm -hmm. mood and your overall health yes and when it comes to that stuff you really don't want to rely on the plywood like mattresses <laughs> that come in rvs when you buy your rv brand new yeah so we have the aurora lux mm -hmm. from rv mattress with the cooling technology that keeps our bodies at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature yes and we also have their cooling pillows their bamboo cotton sheets and the weighted blanket we love it so much that we even got a mattress from my mom mm -hmm. and she's loving it too and she doesn't live in an rv exactly which goes to show you you don't have to live in an rv to buy an rv mattress from brooklyn bedding they're for everybody and they come in regular sizes or rv sizes an rv mattress by brooklyn bedding also offers you a 120 night sleep trial 10 year warranty and free shipping from their factory in arizona the best part of all of it is we can save you 25 percent all you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video, go over to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, and type in the promo code WAGS at checkout. Well, we just saw those three gators in uh, 
Leslie found something else. She found the poo. So uh, here's the thing. This is a walking trail behind the campground. And so here's a public service announcement for you. Pick if up you're your shit. pick up your shit, yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna be walking your dog anywhere where people might be walking, no matter if it's in the campground or not, pick up your dog's shit. Um, people think yes. that they come out to this trail and because it's not actually in the campground that the rules don't apply anymore, but they do. Um, we don't like stepping in shit. Just like you probably wouldn't like stepping in shit. So if you have a dog, if you're walking your dog anywhere where people could potentially walk, please pick it up. Because Leslie's got shit all over her shoes now. I was standing there filming the gator. Yeah, because you're like, ooh, gators. Then I was like, what's that smell? Yeah. <laughs> I smelled it too. I was like, ooh, that's pretty foul. And then she's over I there. I looked down and it's like smushed on both sides of my heel. She's like, I must have planted right in yeah. it. So then she's over there wiping her shoes off in the grass. And yeah, it's embedded in there. Ooh. There's a huge gator on the other bank over there. Just watched him swim all the way across here, yeah. cruise out, and then go up onto the bank over there. Can't see it um, in this mode, but I'll do some overlay so you can see him swimming across there. And we're going to walk around the around the pond. We're going to walk around this way. It comes back around and it loops back around this way. And he's behind that tree over there. Um, so hopefully when we're walking this way, he'll be like right there. So we'll get some really good close-up shots of him when we come back around there. There's one right there. And he's pretty close. He's a little fella. He's probably about three and, a half, three and a half, four feet long. Just laying up there on the mossy stuff. Taking in the sun. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Now we're too late. He was right here, laying right there. And I guess uh, something spooked him or he got tired of sitting there. And we went the wrong way for a second. Yeah. If we would have got here on time, he would have been Probably sitting right, been right there. there. But we were just walking up here and Leslie saw a gator going saw a down the, the thing. So that was probably him. Dang, maybe that he'll sucks. get out again though. Yeah, maybe. Just keep an eye out. All right. Well, we saw quite a few gators. We didn't see the one close if we wanted to see. No. And uh, this is going to be a pretty quick video, quick short video. Um, but I wanted to do like a quick public service announcement. Yeah. Because there's some issues going on at YouTube. And what's happening is people are being unsubscribed from channels that they subscribe to without their knowledge. And YouTube's just turning it off. Even us, people that it we've watched, it. it has unsubscribed yeah. us. I'm like, I haven't from seen their channel. those videos in a while. Are they still doing it? And it comes out, we're not even subscribed anymore. Yeah, so I don't know what that's all about. And yeah. I know it's happening. And we've actually gotten messages from people saying that, uh, hey, why aren't you guys putting out content? What's going on? And I'm like, we are. And then they go check and they're not subscribed. So there's a glitch somewhere that's going on. And so uh, if you're subscribed already, you'll get notification for this video. But if you somehow are not anymore, we got to try to make you find this. So I'm going to make this thumbnail pretty dramatic. Uh, we don't normally do clickbait, but I need to make this thumbnail very, very dramatic so that people will watch this video. People specifically who think they're subscribed to our video, so maybe they'll see it in their feed and yeah. click on it and, and then realize after watching this that, hey, let me go check my subscription. So do me a favor, go and check your subscription status to our channel. Make sure that you are still subscribed if you want to be. Yep. Uh, and and if you're not, if you don't want to be, that's okay too. <laughs> well, we figured we would tell you about it just so that you could go and check it out. Because yeah. we want our subscriber count to be real. Exactly and accurate yeah. and there's an issue so we figured we would take this opportunity to tell you about it mm -hmm. and show you a couple gators and tell you about the park and tell you about my new cornhole adventures <laughs> all in the same thing so anyway um we're here for next couple weeks we're gonna explore charleston yep. a little bit of savannah maybe and kick around for a couple weeks then we're heading off to north carolina so stick with us and come hang out with us and hey stick around for a few seconds because we're gonna honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Leslie's trying to get the dog shit off her shoes. Using the puddle. <laughs> Can't hurt. He's still got a little in the Just crevices there. Hurt. Maybe you jump up and down. <laughs> no. And you have shit water all over your legs. Yeah, no, thank you. Ew.
shouldn't have to be doing this in the first place. I agree. Don't be mad at me, man. <laughs>